so a look at something today that's a bit different from uh, Stalker. As you're probably aware, there's a number of these older school shooters coming through of late, which is, uh, I think for most people, that's good news. So we've got the first, I think, couple of episodes of Dusk. Uh, there's a Mid-Evil, which uh, is another one that interests me. And there's also Ion Maiden, not to be confused with the, uh, the group Iron Maiden. And that's also, I believe, in early access. Uh, but here's one called, uh, if, see if I can pronounce it correctly, it's called Apocryph. Again, an old school shooter. Uh, but this one, you can download a free pre-alpha version. So about the game, it says Apocryph is an FPS set in a brutal, dark fantasy world. It takes its roots in old school fantasy shooters, so prepare for intense sword and sorcery FPS action amidst forgotten castles, evil shrines, and decrepit dungeons. The world of Apocryph is a grim, violent place, harboring magic, dark rituals, and dangers around every corner. Wherever you go, you'll be facing unrelenting monsters, traps, and locked passages, and you can only depend on yourself and your equipment to survive the trials. As for the plot, it says, Static, carefully handcrafted levels and level hubs, all packed with secrets, monsters, and traps. Your character can wield up to nine different weapons with alternative fire modes, including melee armaments, spells, staffs, and artifacts. Items can help you in tough situations. Health potions will aid your health. Mana vials can restore your mana. Combat items can do some damage to, your, to an opponent. It says there are also more rare and powerful relics to be found, such as the dreaded Obliterator Mask, which encases you in a suit of nigh-impenetrable armour, allows you to bash enemies with your plane fists and send powerful shockwaves across the walls and floor, or the essence of the Reaper, which turns you into an avatar of death itself, boosting your speed, granting you wings to perform double jumps and a wicked scythe which cleaves and destroys any opponent. Some weapons and items can be used to stun enemies, freeze them solid, deal area of effect damage, or even provide defensive measures. The game uses a sophisticated gore system. A powerful finishing blow can rip a part of the enemy right out from him, while critically over-damaging an opponent literally blows them to pieces, with limbs flying across the room and sticking to the walls. Basic game information, it says here, you control the Arbiter, once a person of a high rank in the I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Religious hierarchy. Is that Xyle or Zilai? The Xyle were known for many things such as their artistry, magic, magical arts and unity. But all the worlds feared them for a different reason. The Xyle worshipped death itself. For centuries they raided countless worlds, reaping souls in the name of their dreaded mistress. Events preceding the game have led to your exile and now after many years you return only to find fortresses and lands overrun with demonic spawns and vile beasts. Why were you exiled? What could cause this desolation? It's time to find some answers and reap some demon spawn in the name of Pale Mistress. And as mentioned, it says that the game is currently in early development. There's still a lot of items, biomes and rooms to add to the game, as well as game modes, plot advances and perks. And as you can see, the uh, system requirements are shall we say modest, so it shouldn't be a problem for most people to run. If you wish to get the free pre-alpha, then just head to the website and click on the get free pre-alpha and you'll be taken to a page where you'll pop in your name and email address and then you can uh, download it. Right, I'm wondering if that's uh, the sort of wooden appearance of the attack and the way the uh, enemies were moving was down to the fractured animation. Let's try turning that off. Yeah, that looks... Uh, maybe that will be smoother, I'm not sure. Right, these are grenades. And these are... Oh, like health essence. Right, can you destroy the boxes? So it's C and V to navigate between the items, but I don't have anything much at the moment apart from grenades. I think F is kick. But G is throw a grenade.
Oh, that was pretty neat, the way it took out both of them. Right, kicked him to finish him off. Well, the models look pretty good. Right, these can throw projectiles of some kind. They seem to be a bit tougher than the, uh, the skeletons. Ah, oh, that's the gore system it spoke about. Haven't actually noticed that happen before. I've only run through this game briefly once. And it was some weeks ago. But I did this. Alright, the music changes. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Painkiller. I wanted to get the staff before uh, they came near me, but I couldn't quite make it. So you get 10 health for the uh, Fighter Essence. I do like that uh, gore system. That is good. Keep pressing uh, right mouse button to jump, but it's uh, spacebar. Oh, I got both of them. keep looking around at various places to see if I can find a secret or something. Oh, there's another one. Right, so that's the uh, combat over with for the moment. Picked up blue mana rune. <laughs> What's this? That looks like essence, fighter essence. No, crimson ointment. Just check I'm safe and then... Oh, I see, you can scroll through like that. C or V to check the items. So what happens if I select the crimson ointment? Oh, right, use the item. As I thought, it's an extra... It's like a large health potion. Picked up Star Shiitake. Give you a small uh, health boost. That looks like a grenade. And now I'm using the staff. This uh, is where the Hexen and Heretic influence comes in, I think. Now, I've got to be honest, when I first played this a little while ago, as I say, I've only run through it once, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting a polished experience, because as I've said many times, it's a pre-alpha. But I wasn't really... I didn't really enjoy it all that much, I've got to be honest. But already, so far, just doing this video, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it more.
I do like some of the uh, aesthetics. Let's take a look around here. destroy the environment. It's going to make jumping hard when I'm using the arrow keys, but I uh, managed to do it. Oh, I didn't mean to throw a grenade there, and I did. <laughs> How many of those have I? I've got three. I've got two left. Very wrong. And I think that's all my grenades gone. Not sure where he went. up blue mana rune. Oh, I see. This is what the uh, staff uses. Some nice particle effects. I think I'll leave that till I really need it. Ah, I wonder if you're the guy that I saw earlier. Yes, I do like that. I keep saying it, but I do like it. I like how the um, attacks can dish out uh, like both fists or one or the kick. It's got variety to it. Picked up armor shard. So a bit like in, um, for example, Quake 2, you can find uh, armor shards. What's this? Ow. Oh, I like the way he just sort of stood there for a moment before collapsing. up bone flame braces. What is the key for alternate? Fire selected weapon in alternate firing mode. Oh, the right, um, right mouse button. But it looks like the, the weapons I've got don't possess the alt modes anyway. Or at least I haven't got them at the moment.
Yeah. I like the way you can... Parts of the skeletons uh, move around. Now, I've got to be honest. Although I love a lot of the old games, I'm not really that experienced when it comes to Hexen, Heretic. They're not my among my favourites. Sort of game that I'll try modding from time to time, play a few levels, and then... For some reason, I don't go back to it. But uh, I am enjoying this. Ah, let's try these things out. I don't recall using them last time I played this. Right, I haven't got a lot of mana or capability for this weapon, so... I kind of don't want to use it too much. Right, I finally got one. Oh, there you are. Kind of accidentally caught him there. The sort of green, uh, sorry, the green, <laughs> the red kind of lines on the screen when your health drops below a certain, I get assuming a certain level, I don't find distracting. It doesn't bother me, whereas normally that tend that kind of thing tends to. Yeah, I think this level of difficulty suits me for a pretty much first time run through, really. Oh god. Especially where you're concerned. Interesting uh, type of types of monsters. Picked up the armor shard once again. Picked up green mana runes. So you got green and blue, a bit like the colours I think you get in. Uh, is it Hexen or Heretic? things sort of monster-like growls around me which kind of make me a little bit uh, wary. Some very nice modelled assets in this game. I don't think I've got any grenades left. Oh, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, they must have attacked him by accident. Like, infighting's occurring. Oh, lucky. <laughs> the way he just lent into the uh, pillar there.
Picked up Emerald Chanterelle. Look at that. Oh, and that's a... What is that? I don't want to pick it up in case I... Is it some healing? Oh, uh, what the hell. Garnet Gem Key. I'm glad it wasn't a health-related item. Can you interact with these things? Mm. One thing I'm not doing is jumping up and trying to latch onto things, but... Uh, I don't think I can. At least in this area. Can I be cheeky and shoot you from here? No. Yeah, you get a few enemies together. A bit like in... Um, Perhaps... Ah, that's more like it. Now you can see the green mana really dropping fast. <laughs> Kicking his back, back legs up there. Kind of reminds me a bit of a um, golem, kind of shambler-like creature from Quake. I'm definitely enjoying this more this time round. How you missed me from there, sir, I don't know. Ah, that's those plant things. Picking up a bit more armor now. So what's that? Is that another key? Or is that just my, uh, Vita Essence? Probably Vita Essence, but uh, I've got more than enough of that at the moment. Yeah, I think I selected the next difficulty up when I first played this, and I found it, what with the performance and not knowing what the hell I was doing, it was a little bit too... too I got through it, but it was a little bit, um, bit too manic for me. Uh, let's try going through here. The skeletons are pretty easy to kill. I think it's better without the fractured am animation on. Ah! Can't destroy some things. Right, is there a reason for destroying that? Or is it just to sort of make the combat a bit more lively? It's quite an interesting design. Seeing as we've got a lot of the blue mana, I think I'll uh, use this. Keep going for grenades, but I don't have them. Oh, you got quite a 
vicious attack if I get in the way of it. Yeah, I guess if you hold it down, does it charge up a, an attack? No, it just keeps firing. Can you take the mushrooms? Oh, you can pick them up, but you don't... You don't want to, because it's not adjusting my health. Yeah, you do get more enemies in one sort of area than you do in some other shooters of old. With the exception of, uh, you know, something like Painkiller where you get many of them. What is this? Pretty assets once again. Picked up stalwart shield. Oh, I see. It makes my armor go up to 100%. I wondered if you could uh, sort of save it and use it later on. Uh, I think that's everything in here. Probably missing loads of things. Mm. Already pulled that. Let's try running for a bit, shall we? If I can actually remember how to do it. Or maybe I'm running now. Oh, shift and hold. Right, okay. Seems sometimes you have to go back out of the game just to stop the mouse cursor appearing. Well, I'm holding shift. I guess I'm running by default anyway. It was a bit slow, I suppose. Ah, that's run. Sure, I've pressed this before. Oh. Could have sworn I'd touched that earlier and heard some sort of uh, grunting sound which suggested that it wasn't movable or I had moved it. We have loads of skeletons appearing. And I'm trapped. But 
No great harm. Alright. Kind of like a bouncing projectile. These look a bit different. I think for this video I'll keep the music on as it is, but I probably... Where is it? I think it's in the main menu. You have to go back to the main menu, which I don't want to do. Yeah, there's the mouse cursor. Right, gone. Good. Yeah, I tend to turn off dynamic music, but I'm quite enjoying it in this instance. to Essence. More Crimson Ointment. Do you know, I don't recall going this far last time. Maybe I died, I can't remember. Pull back. Yeah, I haven't got much green uh, mana left. Quite an interesting kind of attack. Different. Every time I hear a growl, I turn around thinking there's going to be one of those uh, large creatures. Ah, see my crimson ointment's gone down, so is that an automatic... Does it take it automatically when you reach a certain drop in health? This is armor. Ah, these look different. No, I haven't seen these before. Practically out of green arm uh, mana now. Uh, that looks like a grenade. Yeah. Hmm, this has me intrigued. Will you come to life, I wonder? Yeah, so I must have died when I last played it. It's quite good actually not running around for the first time showing this because at least then you can take in more, um, more detail. Zoom, that's the end of the demo. Level completed kills 76 out of 78, that's pretty good. Oh, I've got one secret items. Time 40 minutes. What happens when I press next? Yeah, that's the end of it, as expected. So if this interests you, then use the links provided in the video description to navigate your way to the website and uh, obtain the free pre-alpha demo. So I'll be interested to see how this turns out as time goes on. 
and I can see it being something that I would play. So overall, I'm quite impressed with it, and uh, I had a much more engaging and enjoyable time this time round than the last time. So I'd like to thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.